no, overhead I'm filming. or under the seat in front of you. Getting ready to, uh, to prepare for departure. Prepare for departure. Your table and place your seat in the full prepared. upright position. Are you prepared? We're if prepared. you haven't already fastened your seat belt, right. insert the metal fitting into the buckle. Metal and fitting. Pull the All right, so we made it to uh, Cincinnati Airport, which is actually in Kentucky, and uh, we're heading over to Wendy's. Wendy's, grab a little snack. <laughs> Wait, am I turning around? 1127, let me make it right. Oh, okay. About 1127, yeah. and uh, we're gonna try to hustle back and get some rest and get up early tomorrow and get at it. We just drove like an hour and a half into the middle of nowhere. I just walked in on somebody <laughs> else's cabin. <laughs> There's a bunch of cabins on this property, and uh, this is our weird cabin. There's like 75 beds in one room. Well, the first cabin was the wrong one. But hey, there's somebody sleeping in here's there. Here's a sign that we're in the right area, though. A little 10 point action. Good stuff. Hopefully, we can find some of that tomorrow. guys so got up this morning we're heading out to uh, a couple pieces of public land that we're interested in scouting so what's the plan of attack man figure we have boots on the ground see what we uh, what the habitat looks like and then kind of figure it out from there we have an idea where these uh, looks like crops are so we're gonna work the edge of those crops and see where they're browsing and such try to find some bedding and uh, drop some cameras a lot of cameras. All right, guys, so me and Danny just split up. He's heading down that way. We're gonna try and cover this area from both sides. So there's some crop fields a little ways down here. We figure this time of year, you know, the, the deer are still building their antlers. So food is really important. So we think we're gonna find them hanging out near all the food sources. So we're gonna go check out what's in those crop fields. Then we're gonna see if we can find some good trails to put cameras on. That's pretty much the goal for the day. All right, so the habitat here is a little different from what I was expecting. We're kind of on like a fence line. Um, you see the fence here, but I got a pretty good game trail going right down the edge of the fence, and then it cuts back this way. Let me show you. I'm gonna follow this game trail and see if I can find them. A little bit better sign to put the camera on. So there's a game trail that goes right in here. I walked it a little bit. It goes like right along here and then it turns. I'm gonna walk that a little bit and see if I can find a uh, decent spot to drop the first camera. There's a little, I walked back here in this little uh, thick area. It's uh, thick and nasty in there. So I decided to back out after I went in about 100 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, camera on the edge of this thicket. I have trails coming down this fence line and then coming in and out of that thick stuff. So there might be bedding back in there. But uh, I figure it'll be a good roll call spot. We'll go ahead and put a camera right up here. So, I'm on the edge of these crop fields. It actually doesn't look like there's a lot of crops here right now, but down the other side there is. But I'm working this tree edge. It's like tree line. It looks like really good bedding habitat right here. And there's Tons of trails just crisscrossing through here. It doesn't look like anybody else has been here. This, this stuff is really thick. So if anybody had been here, their trail would be really obvious. Mine is pretty obvious. So I'm working my way back to a corner. I'm hoping I'm going to find a lot of sign right there. I'm hoping that'll be a good spot to put a camera. So I came down to this area that I honestly figured I was going to find a lot of tracks and I haven't found anything yet until I started walking down see this creek walking down this creek bed it's all muddy and I just came across these giants look at this 
signs of those tracks. There's another one right there. And there's a trail that goes right up there and right there. So I know at least one giant is using this trail. I'm gonna go check out what's on the other side of the trail. Alright, so we're uh switching it up a little bit. The area that I thought was gonna be full of crops is actually not crops, it's an overgrown field. So um, I already dropped one camera along that fence line. So I'm actually gonna go up into the actual management area. It's like a, on the perimeter of the management area, there's crops, supposedly crops, they look like crop fields. And then further in, it's like a more just woody natural area. So I'm gonna go up in there. That's where I hunted two years ago. And uh, there was a lot of sign, uh, but again, that was in November. So we'll see what happens. So I followed this trail up and it led to this, looks like a bedding area. That makes a lot of sense. There's a water source right on the other side. And this trail leads straight back to those crop fields. So we found a little uh, spot here that's kind of like a uh, little creek crossing. And basically you have two fields that come across one. I guess you have two fields ac across from one another. And then we're gonna go ahead and set up a camera back here. <coughs> see, mark back there. And uh, right over there you can see the field on that side. And there's a pretty defined trail. You can see the trail right here right behind me. <coughs> Pretty good sign. Mark got this video of this buck out here in the field. Check it out. What do you what'd you find over there? So I went over to where that buck was browsing just to see what he was browsing on. And it's this plant. I don't know what the heck it is. But literally could not find a single one of this plant that didn't have the top bit off. Like everything else was left alone. But this plant, they're chewing the tops off of. And you can see like literally every single one is bit off. So I think we should keep an eye out for this plant. Seems they like it. Here you go. Thank you. Alright, so we made it to uh, another spot here. We're on a different track of property. Mark's gonna let us know what we're gonna, what's the plan. Alright, I'm gonna go down around the back of this pond and work my way along the, like just the edge of the property, you know? Yeah. Um, there's a couple spots I wanted to check out over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> go pretty much cut this down the center of the property and then we're gonna meet up in the middle yeah. and uh, see what we can, we can come across and find. See what happens. That deer is probably. Maybe 200 yards away. So I was watching a little deal out in the field and I decided to come down in this little creek. And I was walking down this little creek. I saw a different doe right in front of me. I tried to get video of her, but I don't think I was able to focus on her because I had some plants in front of me. 
but uh, it comes down to this little intersection. So I went ahead and set up this camera right here in hopes that uh, bucks and other, uh, other deer are using the same thing. There is a section that crosses this way and then there's a section that goes up this way which I'm about to walk now. You see that it goes up in between two fields. So there's a couple good trees that we can hunt off of in this area. Um, I was filming the, the doe from a barn up there. But uh, yeah, we'll see what, what we can find. Hopefully this camera picks up a couple, a couple shooters. I guess Merritt doesn't work around here. Alright, so we just found another spot here that's tore down the tracks. Um, we got a little trail right here. We got another trail behind me. And then there's another trail right over here on the side. We'll show you. And then uh, as I was sitting over here trying to communicate with Bark, <laughs> Bark, when I was sitting over here trying to communicate with Mark, I had a six point. Maybe a, probably a four. It wasn't a very big buck, but he came right through here. Came to this little low area, and then out to the field. So we're going to drop a camera here and see if we can use it like a roll call spot. I guess we can... Uh, I guess I should bring you the cameras, huh? This is not a bad spot right here. That's how Ben would hunt. Bro, I can't even see you. That's such good camo. One of them is a doe. Can't see the other one's head right now. Hey, dear! <laughs> oh no, it's a little buck. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a little spike. There's an animal. Is it a beaver? It really does look. Bro. It's a nutria. Yeah, he's got a tail, like a skinny tail. Yeah, it's a nutria.
So painful. What? So painful. <laughs> that was cool. I, I've never, I've never thought to like blow back. <laughs> she started doing it, and I was like, maybe if I just act like a deer who got spooked as well, she'll just think that she got spooked by another deer. <laughs> it fucking worked, dude. She was like. If we weren't kind of standing out a little bit, she would fucking walk right over to us. So we, uh, we're working the little edge of the, it seems to be like a little cornfield on this property. And there's a swamp, as you see behind us. This dough was bedded up right over here on this little edge. Yeah, and it looks like a little, well, I saw her stand up. Oh, you did? I saw her actually stand up. So she was bed on this little ridge, and then she came down from the ridge down to the to the pond to or the creek, water. get a drink of water, she and then uh, she busted us. But as you saw, that was a pretty cool experience. She's still up there blowing her brains out. Yeah, I can see it. And finally, she's leaving. But uh, that was pretty cool. Probably the most action we got today.
Hey guys, thanks for checking out another scouting video. This time we're actually scouting in Kentucky. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit this button over here to subscribe. Also, please make sure you check out our Patreon page. Um, that gives us a lot of support and uh, really helps us through the giveaways and all that cool stuff. Alright, peace out.